Dr. Nation video will cover the left side of workbook page 18. Enjoy the video. I'm going to go enjoy some ice cream. Should I go with pumpkin pie ice cream or birthday cake ice cream? Hmm. That's a tough choice. I'll let you know my decision later. Let's get started with a practice problem. So create a good diagram using the following information. Out of 50 students surveyed, 29 went chocolate, 19 liked vanilla, and 9 students didn't like either flavor. How many students like both vanilla and chocolate? Or how many students like both chocolate and vanilla? Like vanilla, only twelve of them like vanilla and not chocolate. 
that's how we're able to check our answer. The same way we'll find that 12 plus 7 should give us 19. 12 plus 7. 19. So, the number of students that like both vanilla and chocolate. So this was the answer to the question. Now let's draw our big diagram. So we have two categories. We have vanilla and we have chocolate. And then we have some intersection between those two, which are the students that like both. Vanilla and chocolate. So let's draw two big circles. I'll say this is chocolate, this is vanilla. And then remember, we have nine students that do not like either. So we can put those nine students on the outside. So just write nine out there. And now, remember how many students we said like both? Let's go back up. Seven. So let's see, what's represented by the students that like both chocolate and vanilla? It's this intersection, right? So that's the seven students lying there. And now we need to figure out how many students only like vanilla. So that would be the number of students that belong in there. But we really found that in the first part. We said 12 students only like vanilla. Now, how many students did we say only like chocolate? And there is our big diagram. 22 students only like chocolate, 7 like both chocolate and vanilla, and then 12 only like vanilla. And 9 students do not like chocolate or vanilla or chocolate and vanilla. And so this represents the study, the survey of the 50 students on whether they like chocolate, vanilla, neither chocolate nor vanilla, or both chocolate. See you next time. Brain break. Whatever you do, make sure you bust out the moves like this guy on the state exam. Or maybe that's the happy dance you'll do when you find out in June that you passed the state exam. Problem number eight. Now let's take a second to talk about ice cream. So ice cream nation was hosting a taste testing contest. 24 people like Bruno Mars ice cream. 21 people like ice cream in shower cake. And 12 people like both flavors. Everybody who tasted the ice cream liked at least one flavor. So we will determine how many people participated in the taste testing contest. So what we first need to remember is that the people that like Bruno Mars could also like ice cream in shower cake. The only thing we know is that 12 like both of them. So let's go from there. So what we first want to figure out is how many people only like Bruno Mars ice cream. So we're going to say Bruno only. Huh. Spell that a little. We'll call it Bruno only. So we know 24 people like Bruno. But how many people like Bruno only? and ice cream and shout. 12 people like both. So you have to subtract the 12 that like both. Okay, let's pull out our calculator. And so we want to do 24 minus 12. 24 minus 12. So 12. So 12 people that tasted it like Bruno only. Now let's find out how many people like ice cream and shout only. So we know 21 people like ice cream and shout. And 12 also like both flavors, so it likes ice cream and shout too. So I'm going to call it shout only. We have 
21 people that like sorry. We have 21 people that like shout. And we're going to subtract the 12 that like both. So 21 minus 12. And that will tell us that only like shout ice cream. So let's pull our calculator out. Sorry, let me. There we go. Okay. So we have 21 minus the 12 that like both. And we get 9. So we have 12 people participated like Bruno only, 9 like shout only, and then we already know, because they told us in the beginning, that 12 people like both flavors. So now, if we add all of those up, that would tell us all of the people that participated, because they told us everyone liked at least one flavor, so they either had to like Bruno, shout, or they had to like both. And since we have all these numbers here, we can add these up. So, we'll see. Total. So the total will be equal to 12 that like Bruno only, plus the 9 that like shout only, plus the 12 that like both. Okay. So let's pull out the calculator. That's what you want to do. 12 plus 9 plus 12. We get 33. So we have 33 people who participated in the Ice Cream Nation taste testing contest. Perfect. What was perfect was my pumpkin ice cream tonight. If you're disappointed, tomorrow's another day. I can always go with the birthday cake icing. Birthday cake ice cream, excuse me, tomorrow.